So you see, the proofs from that last shoot were just as spectacular as I told you they would be. You were right, absolutely right. Of course I was. I'm always right, you know that. Any new assignments? Yeah, there are a couple of things. Listen. Matt, uh, how is he? It's one thing and another with he and Josie. Yeah, Josie. How is she? Have you seen Charlene? How are you? Oh, me? I'm swell. You kidding? I'm queen of cell block B. I mean, the cuisine isn't, well, you know, exactly nouvelle, and uh, I'm not too wild about the decor, but, you know, I think we've got a real, uh, a real thing with this little, uh, this little outfit they gave me. I call it sort of early feed sack. Honey, come on, laugh at my jokes, will you? It's about all I can do right now. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm okay, really. No, you're not okay, really. You know, I've been here before. I've been Mitch, in prison. Stop I know please what it's stop about. it, honey, please. The only way I can get through this is if I say I'm okay. If I dwell on this, I'll go under. I, I know I will, so... Let's just not do any more, okay? Okay. Okay. You want to talk about how soon you're going to be out of here? Oh, yes, that's a, that's a great topic. <laughs> Have you decided to change your testimony? I can't. Why not? He was the one person, Derek was the one person that, that was there in the Hall of Mirrors when you fired no, the gun. he wasn't, Mitch. Come on, Felicia. Honey, please. There's so much about all of this that you just don't understand. I know, I know, and I've thought about it a lot, and I want to know one thing. Why are you choosing Derek over me? Okay, so this is why I think there's something weird coming down. Monday... This guy comes into court, big guy, named uh, Derek. And he claims to know Felicia, only he calls her something else, uh, Fanny. Well, that's, that's not so weird, because Fanny Grady is Felicia's real name. Yeah, but that's not the weird part. When the jury brings down its verdict, this guy goes berserk. And later, he goes running up to the DA and says that he was in the Hall of Mirrors when Uncle Jason was shot. Then, he backs up Felicia's story about how she fired that gun. Well, now, if, if Cass knew all this, why didn't he use his testimony during the trial? Well, I think he wanted to, but he couldn't. Why? Because Felicia refused to identify Derek when she was on the stand. Why? I don't know. But you believe this man. I don't know. You haven't heard of him, have you? A guy named Derek? No, I, I haven't. I... Yeah. But he... He is sure that Felicia didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, it does. Uh, I was so sure that Felicia was guilty. So was I. I know it. But now I'm, oh, I'm really beginning to wonder. Yeah, me too. This trial came down too easy. There were, there's too many loose ends in the case. Felicia Glant's a good woman. Yeah. And I want to put the real murderer behind bars. I mean, Uncle Jason deserves at least that much. And, and you've been through so much. And So has Josie. <laughs> Had to talk to her yet? Mm-mm. She's still at the boarding house. She won't see me. Charlene, look, I know that this is hard on you, but please try not to worry. By the time I was Josie's age, I'd run away at least 15 times, and I always came back. Okay. Josie will, too. I hope you're right. Of course I'm right. <laughs> well, hello there. Hey, hey Cass, hi. sweetheart. Hi. hi. I'm sorry hey. I didn't make it out here earlier, but I got stuck at the hospital longer Thanks than expected. Thanks for coming out here. Oh, any time. You know that? For me. For you. Hmm. And from you. I took them from your garden. <laughs> they look familiar. I'll put them in water. Get some chips. How is she doing? <sighs> this thing with Josie is really hard on her. I wish there was something I could do. Yeah, me too. For both of them. I understand why Charlene never told Josie about her past, but <laughs> must have come to some shock to Josie. She's still not talking, huh? No. Oh, and someone you love keeps secrets like that. It's bound to hurt. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Will you excuse me for one second? I'm just going to go see how she's doing. Yeah, right? sure. Go ahead. Hi, darling. What do you want? Let's try that again. 
Hello, darling. I've really had quite a day, Mother. I would appreciate it if you don't get on my case. Did something else happen with Jake? N no, no. I told him to wait until after the Corey anniversary party. I think he's going to go along with it. And what's wrong? Well, I, I can't get my own money out, for one thing. Why do you need more money? I just want to be prepared for anything that could happen. Victoria, you can't buy Jake off. His middle-class values won't permit that. I wasn't thinking of a bribe. Victoria, you, you're not focusing properly. We don't need money. We need time. You know, Jake is not in the mood to cooperate with me. I don't care what he's in the mood for. The party's only a week away, and we need some more time. Don't you think I know that, Mother? Just calm down. Calm down. That's the most important thing. We have to think and be calm, all right? Yeah. Now, we have a week's grace. That's what we have to work with. I did one thing that might be helpful. What? Well, I saw Marley at the Paradise after I left you the other night, and she was waiting for Jake to get off work. And Jake was flirting with one of the waitresses. Yes. So I um, reminded Marley of Jake's weakness for other women. What did she say? She was unnerved. I hated doing it to her. Well, I hate that you have to do it, but you're trying to save two marriages here. Right. What else did you say? Well, I told her that she should probably tell Jake how she feels about cheating. You think she'll do it? Well, I don't know yet. I certainly hope so. I hope she will, too. I think it just might remind Jake that telling Marley about Stephen just might be a little too risky. And then maybe he'll stop and think about ruining everybody's lives. Hi. Honey, what are you talking about? I, I haven't chosen Derek or haven't you. Haven't you? No. You're choosing to protect him and stay locked up in here instead of us being together. Honey, it's not that simple. Just, just let me try and explain. I, I just, I don't know where to begin, really. Look, hey, what sort of hold does he have over you? What has he done to you? He hasn't done anything. You told me that he hadn't threatened you. He didn't threaten me. He didn't. Then why? Why? You know him. I know that you know him. He was at the party, wasn't he? He was the strong man, wasn't he? Please. Look, why are you doing this? Why are you deliberately hurting your own case? Hey, you know I love you. I miss you. I would like to be with you. I miss you, too. But I don't understand why are you doing this. I don't understand that. I mean, it's like you're just deliberately choosing to be separated. Please, could you let me explain? What? I can't. I just, I just can't. Please don't ask me. to find out. Okay, time's up. So soon? Say goodbye now. I love you. I love you. Don't forget that. I love you. I'm absolutely determined to make Sophisticate a smashing success. In fact, the first issue will be on the stand in a few months. Really? That quickly? Mm hmm I'm already renting office space, hiring staff. Well, I'm impressed. I wouldn't be this far along if I hadn't had your help. Don't give me too much credit. Oh, that's why I've got something for you. Really? It's um, a mock-up of the first cover of Sophisticate. Well, that's beautiful. It's just a token of my appreciation. It's, uh... It isn't really necessary, I Well, I think it was. I was more than willing to help you in the beginning, but things have changed. I, I really can't help you anymore. I'm done. <sighs> I wouldn't allow it anyway. You wouldn't? No, as much as I'd be delighted to have your help, a bargain is a bargain. And I told you, if you spoke to my father, I'd give up... I'd give up any claim of you. I'm glad... 
We understand each other. So it's not really thank you, it's also goodbye. Hi. You're all alone, I see. Yeah, Zach knocked off about an hour ago. Leaving the workaholic to slog it out, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Why don't you pack it in? Come and have dinner with me. Oh, that's the best offer I've had all day. Great. But I'm afraid I have to pass. I have some private investigator's notes that I have to go over. For Felicia's case? Yes, right. How's it going? Well, basically, we're right back to square one, unfortunately. I'm going to go back now and take another look at all my original suspects. All of them? Every single one. Iris, Evan, Jake, John. Yeah, and Vicky. I'm sorry, I know how much that bothers you. Cass, she's my niece. I know she's innocent. Honey, she had the means and she had the opportunity. I should have taken a closer look at her from the get-go. I just hope you understand. What I don't understand is... Cass, what is happening to us? Us? I thought we were fine. Oh, we are getting married in a couple of weeks. We need some time together. I'm sorry. I know I haven't paid much attention to the details. And... No, I don't care about that. I'm not talking... I, I don't want you wasting your time on invitations and menus. Instead of helping Felicia, that is not what I was talking about. Then what is it? Us. Together. Our life has been a little devoid of romance lately. I don't want flowers or candlelit dinners. I just need to be with you. Nicole... We never have a meal together anymore. You're never there when I go to bed at night. I need you. I... I'm beginning to feel like I'm losing you. That will never happen. Yeah, but that's the way it feels. Yes. I need your love. Very badly right now. I think you need mine too. I didn't come here to fight. I came here to tell you the truth. You're gonna tell me about Fanny?
truth is, I killed someone. What? That's what you did? Fanny knew it. She knew if I took the stand, it could come out, so she lied. That's the whole story? That's it. Second, it can't be. Well, what, was it murder? Was it an accident? Where did it happen? When did it happen? What about Felicia? What did she have to do important. with all of this? Of course, you the details are important. You said I threatened Fanny yeah, to right. make her keep quiet. I didn't. She wanted this to happen this way. I just needed to tell you. You're the only one. Thank you. There's something I don't understand, though. What? Why, if you knew that it was as dangerous as it is all along, why did you decide to risk it? It doesn't make sense. I'd die for Fanny. Wait, where are you going? To get Fanny out. My own way. niece, Frankie Frame? Yes. Hello. It was nice of you to agree to see me. How is Charlene? She's holding up. Listen, would you do me a favor when you see her? Would you tell her that I'm sorry? Well, for, for everything. Jason and, and what happened at the trial. Do you know what? I believe you. I'm glad. You really surprised me the other day. Why didn't you grandstand like your flashy lawyer? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Winthrop had that strong man guy all set up for you. It was perfect. It was real Perry Mason stuff, you know? The alibi, the testimony of a mysterious eyewitness, and you blow everybody out of the water by saying you'd never even seen the guy. It was not the man that was at the party. I'm sorry, Miss Gallant, but I don't believe that. Well, you should believe it. Because it wasn't him. He wasn't anywhere near me at the party. Cass made a mistake, that's all. I see. Do you know, I usually pride myself on being a very good judge of human nature. Do you? But I don't understand you at all. I've seen people do a lot of things to save their own butts and tight spots. That's human nature. But, but to throw the fight the way you wait, did... Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't a game. This is real life. A lot of people have gotten hurt here, and I don't want someone else to get hurt, especially if it's someone... should be sorry. I should go and let you get some rest. Okay. It was very nice to talk to you. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, you know, I've read your books. <laughs> have you? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, have to forgive me for laughing. I, I don't know. You just don't seem like the romantic type. Well, I have to admit it was for research for the trial. Of course. You have a terrific way of making everything come out all happy at the end in your books. Well, that is one of my specialties, happy endings. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could... if I could do the same thing for myself in real life? when you're going to get around and tell me why you called me. All right. Well, this came this morning. Mm -hmm. Special delivery. Um, this is an invitation to the 25th anniversary for Corey Publishing. Uh -huh. Your mom put a little note on it. Well, good for her. Yeah. But see, Jamie, I don't think she knows what she's getting herself into. Why? Why shouldn't the Corys and the Frames be able to get along? Huh? No. That's not the point. The point is, I think this has gone a little further than you know. <sighs> I got a call this morning from my sister-in-law, Gwen. She received an invitation from Rachel, too, uh -huh. and she's coming. Good. I haven't seen Gwen for years, or, or Uncle Willis. No, Willis isn't coming, and Gwen... She sounded a little odd, Jamie. Why? What happened? 
Well, you know, after she and Willis left Bay City, they ran into some pretty hard times, and as a matter of fact, they almost lost everything they had. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, they didn't want to talk about it. Gwen sure didn't. She's very proud, and... Mm-hmm. What? Uh, well, I... I don't know. After everything that's happened recently, Jason, I just... I'm not sure that this is, this is the right time. Why? Because she might feel uncomfortable around your family. I mean, I know this, I still am. Listen, I, I'm, I'm glad she's coming back. Maybe we can help her out. But, Jamie, the point is that over the years, a lot of frames have lived in Bay City. A lot of them. And most of us haven't had a very easy time here. Well, that's why my mom is trying to make amends, Charlene. But, Jane, a lot of my brothers and sisters have very bad feelings about the Corys, especially your mother. I know I'm, I'm not saying it's right. As a matter of fact, I think it's crazy. But I just hope that she isn't making a mistake by inviting them here now.